folks. So I am on to the last video. Oh, excuse the fact I'm just pulling the chair in and it makes quite a noise. Hopefully you'll be able to hear this one. I did notice with the other ones that it was a little bit on the quiet side, so I'm terribly sorry. I hope you can hear them. So this is the last card that um, I don't know whether they're actually going to load up in this um, order anyway. So what's in the envelope? Yay! So we have got a piece of um oh my goodness what's it called it is called braided burlap trim so it's actually quite pretty it's um it's sort of well obviously braided and it's burlap and well it's trim <laughs> that was really descriptive wasn't it excellent all right so you should also have your base card you should have a piece of um, designer series paper that looks like this like this on the other side which is not quite so attractive but i like this side and again, you'll have a little piece left over like that, which I kind of figured you can put on the back of your card and I forgot to put it on the back of this card and I probably just chucked it out actually. Yes. Anyway, so this piece here has, I'm hoping that you can see the fact that it looks like coastal weave because that's what it is. It's a 3D embossing folder, if I can get it open. Um, and, and it's a really cool pattern. It just gives a sort of like woven pattern. I am gonna use Early Espresso, and I'm gonna go with my dauber and the Early Espresso, and just rubbing it over it, just to bring out the, the um, pattern really. So I wanna call it the grain, but it's, it's not wood, so it's not grain. There we go. Uh, oh all the way just bear in mind that um, it's paper and it does scrunch up if you're not careful with it so what I do re also recommend is that you just go around this edge of it just to um, darken up that edge a little bit and, gee, it's looking kind of purple oh my goodness I wonder if I've also dabbed this one into purple as well that would be clever wouldn't it everything's gonna end up purple at the moment Okay, that could explain why I'm using the gorgeous grape. Oh. <laughs> okay, right. Um, don't don't use different daubers unless you're happy with um, um, a slightly mixed-looking weird colour of purple and brown in my case. But that's fine. I can I can live with this. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Okay. Next thing, just add, I don't, I've changed this over, I swear I did, and it's, it's also not working. It must be me at the moment, so, okay. Everyone will know how to do this by the end of these videos, I did say that. Uh, I'm going on to this one. Okay, so this one, you just want to sit so that it's got and a sort of an approximately the same sort of border all the way around the outside and oh, there we go that one also didn't work so just hold on to it there twist it around there and you'll kind of see the top one disappearing off and then this side you want to just give it about the same sort of distance as well so it doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit or there's a gap, it doesn't really matter because this is going to go up the top. So next thing to do is to take this and wrap it round. Wrap it good. Do, 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 do. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, just tie it and that apparently is a granny knot. I actually thought I'd done a reef knot, but there you go. Still still looks all right anyway. You can, if you want to, just sort of fluff this bit out a bit, just to give it a bit of something different, or you can just cut the ends off and have it so it's straight. It should just stay in place. You shouldn't actually need to, um, to put anything behind it to keep it in place because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to actually add a stamp to this and then stick it down onto there. Um, when I did it, I used 
the Happy Birthday from Layered with Kindness stamp set. Um, and I'm not sure whether I want to use the same one again or whether I should go with something different. No, I'm just going to do the same one again because it fits on this. So, where's my thing -o? There it is. Just pick that up with my um, clear block. And like I did with the other one, I'm actually just going to um, put that one to one side slightly so that I can see through it. And, and I'm kind of probably going to have to stick my head in the way here and hope for the best. That's not too bad. Okay, that's cool. It's a little bit difficult when you're trying to line them up like this. Um, there is another way of doing it on the Stamparatus and I probably should show you that actually in another video. So I will um, try and remember to do that. So if you um, add a bit of colour to the edge anyway, it's it's not going to be quite so obvious that um, it's not quite there as it were. And I'm just going to go and do the sort of smoky thing around the outside because it's smoking. Yay! All right, that's that. And I'm still using the gorgeous grape one, so I don't know what happened to my early espresso. That seems to have done a runner. All right, so then that can just have a couple of these added. So you just want a couple on one side, and oh, I might just add grab a bit of this from the side because obviously you can use the edges as well, which just gives you way more to use. And Grab those bits off there. Pop on your happy birthday. And voila! That one is all done. So then you have two versions of the same thing. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this set and um, um, are up for next month as well. Alright, take care. Bye!